What's up guys, I am here today with a new game called World War Do. Basically, it is similar to Clash Royale, except the King Tower can uh, actually be used by this, oh, by this uh, fellow general right here. And the general has different skins that uh, can be customized. Since this game is still kind of new, it kind of freezes. So you have to bear with that. You've got the couple of skins right here and others you can buy. You have uh, your emotes, just like Clash Royale. What's this? It can uh, uh, dab. <laughs> and you also have little dances. So when you start the game, you can see the enemies uh, dance that they use before the battle starts. And you have your little text emotes, just like Clash. And that's about it. It'll definitely be better if I uh, show you, just in case if I miss anything. While you're waiting, you can play with your emotes. What's this? Is it? It's Kind of like Clash Royale, except the it gets it's a little bit more graphic with the fact that uh, there's a little bit of blood. I mean, not like it's not gory, but uh, it's not like Clash Royale where uh, the troop just turns into elixir when it uh, gets defeated. The main goal is to take out the general. That's the would be similar to three crowning uh, in Clash Royale. No, we're leaving. And there's not really any events to like unlock new cards. You just have like quests. You like for using spells. If you use enough spells, you get more prizes. Time to win. Hopefully, uh, we can find someone. Nice peaceful music to start the match. <laughs> this is my monthly exercise. When you first play it, you'll probably get some uh, chuckles. <laughs> so the enemy just placed a turret. No problem. I'm still learning, as you can see. I'm going, I'm going. There's some new cards I haven't uh, experienced yet. This cannon right here is uh, similar to a mortar. And there you have it. And there's my uh, celebratory dance. It's called Jazz Hands. So that's basically the goal. If you can take out the general, then you automatically win the game. It's pretty easier to uh, three count in this game. Every time you win a match, you get to feed your pet pig. <laughs> And uh, here's my deck, in case of uh, any of you were uh, wondering. This monster right here is uh, 
similar to like a giant or a golem. This one right here is similar to a prince and a dark prince. I already told you this is similar to a mortar or expo. I like that you have a shield that you can protect your towers. Well, temporarily at least. Time to win! Let's see if we can find someone else. And just like that. My superpower is dancing! Alright. An invisible mine. I'm gonna use my tower boost. I'm surprised that this uh, guy's not retreating. Oh, that's why, because you have that uh, thing. Oh, protect the cannon. Oh. It can get pretty chaotic because you're trying to. Uh, you're worrying about three things at once. Oh. Getting in trouble. Got the magic word. Heal me up, quick. Moving. Moving. Roger. There's too much going on. <laughs> So yeah, if you don't take out any towers or the general, ends in a draw. My phone was uh, struggling with all those cards. <laughs> so that's pretty much the gist of it. If you can take out the general, you win the game. You can climb up the leaderboards. I like this game, it's uh, similar to Clash. And uh, it's something else to play. So you don't get bored of Clash. And uh, with that, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I would highly recommend this game, personally. Not, uh... Not too worried about where I'm at right now in this game. Have a good day, guys. See ya.